Hello guys, it's Rafael here again. I came back to show you the results of my Ancestry DNA test. Uh, in the beginning of November, I collected my saliva sample, sent over to the UK and had my results back in about two weeks, but I haven't had time to shoot this video and show you what I found out about myself. So follow with me and stay tuned. As you can see here, this is the main uh, Ancestry webpage. There are a few links to subscribe to the website, to create your family tree, to order your DNA uh, test, your DNA kit. But I will stick to two uh, links only, uh, trees on the top left here and to DNA. First of all, I'm going to show you my family tree. So you can have an idea about uh, the family trees on Ancestry, what it looks like and all of that. So you can zoom in and zoom out the, the family tree as you wish. Uh, on the bottom left here you have an overview of the family tree. In my case I have pretty much um, 50 members in my family tree. Not more than that because I don't really remember. My parents don't remember anything about my relatives and all of that to help me out. Uh, my family tree is not big at all. Uh, you can drag towards what you, to where you want. And on the bottom right here, I have myself, Raphael. <coughs> and in few of the, f the family members, you're going to see a green leaf on the top right. That green leaf means that you have a hint. And the hint means pretty much that Ancestry uh, crossed information around the globe on their database and found out that maybe there is a document that is linked to your family member. Let's say you who are in, I don't know, um, America, and you upload the file to your Ancestry uh, web uh, profile to your family tree, and on this file, this, this birth certificate, for example, there is a name with uh, uh, very similar to my family member, so Ancestry is going to cross that information, maybe showing me, show to me that uh, your relative or whoever you uploaded uh, is my potential relative. Uh, for example, here I have my auntie, Maria, jo Maria José Souza da Silva. There are two uh, hints for her. The first one is someone with a very similar surname, Maria José da Silva. But this person was born in 1570 and died in 1910. That's not definitely my uh, auntie, because my auntie is still alive, so I can ignore that hint. The second hint is José de Souza da Silva. This is a male's name. But because of the surname Ancestry showed to me as a potential uh, hint, I can ignore straight away because it's a different, uh, no, it's not a, a female at all. And also this person died in 1915, so I can ignore that hint. So that's pretty much how it works. You create your family tree, but once and then Ancestry is going to show you hints of potential uh, uh, information about your your relatives. It's up to you to analyze that information and accept or ignore um, as you wish. So next step is like I won't show you uh, how to create the family tree because it's pretty, pretty much simple. It's straightforward. You can do yourself. I'll go straight now to DNA, which is my DNA results. Uh, when it, you hit this web page here, um, it has your name, it shows your name, there are three columns here, one for DNA story, which is your DNA results, DNA matches and DNA circles. I'll go first to DNA story, which is the breakdown of my um, DNA results. There's a pie chart here with different colors, each color corresponds to one item of my ethnicity estimate. I'll click on this link, discover your DNA story to see what's the story about my um, genes. So on this new uh, page here we have a word map with colored areas. Each colored area corresponds to one, one item of the ethnicity estimate. Uh, in my case here I have 100% in 100% of my genes I have 30% of Europe South, 28% of Iberian Peninsula, 7% of Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and the remaining, the rest of the genes, the percentages are low confidence regions. I'll go first to Europe South. If I go to Europe South here, it says that my genes are primarily located in Italy and Greece. And I didn't understand this percentage here. I suppose it's a level of confidence. I'll take that way. 
to make it simple for me but I, I don't know if that means level of confidence so from 19 to 41 percent uh, of level of confidence my genes come from Italy and Greece but at the end it links me to Portugal somehow if I go back on uh, ethnicity estimate and second item which is Iberian Peninsula I have from 13 to 42 uh, percent of my genes uh, coming primarily located in Spain and Portugal so once again I think that's level of confidence I don't know uh, if my understanding is correct it means that it's more uh, likely that my genes came from Spain and Portugal and once again it says that my genes are linked to this specific region Portugal if I go back to ethnicity estimate again third item Ireland Scotland Wales um, level of confidence here is quite low from 0 to 16 percent uh, saying that no once again saying that my genes are primarily located in Ireland Wales Scotland um, and low confidence regions there are some Western European countries uh, Scandinavia uh, Native American but once again linking my gen my genes to um, Portugal so that's pretty much what I found about my genes I can go down here and read all those uh, links and go through history to understand how those people moved around the continent and maybe ended up in Brazil um, it's funny for me that I have this Irish Scottish Welsh component in all my genes because I never heard anything about it in my family I never heard that I could have uh, this component and also I'm living in Ireland I've been living in Ireland for the last five years I didn't know anything about the country I never thought about coming to Ireland but yeah here I am and just just a coincidence now I'm a little bit Irish as well if I can put that way but that's just my way to joke with Irish people um, I love them and I, it's it's nice for me. I, I feel like honored to have a bit of Irish genes not even blood but um, anyway um, I knew that there was this Portuguese component on my genes because my surname is very Portuguese Souza da Silva and my grandfather on my father's side was white and he had blue eyes which is pretty, pretty much European features uh, we don't have that as native Brazilians uh, it definitely came from those features came from from Europe somehow I don't know if it was uh, originally from Portugal or if it was from Italy Greece or somewhere else that throughout the years um, were carried out on people's genes and end up ended up in Portugal and then in Brazil my grandfather used to say there was an Italian uh, relative in the family but he didn't know who we never heard from this person it's just uh, I don't know if it's a story that they told us don't know if it's made up or not but my genes are showing that uh, Italy is there somehow um, also my grandfather on my mother's side was black he had black features which reminds me of Africa because as native Brazilians like we didn't have those features uh, native Brazilians looked like pretty much Indians you know the the Peruvians Bolivians and those uh, Indians we have in South America that's what they looked like because we still have uh, pure Indians in Brazil and that's what they look like but we know through history that they used to bring Africans to work as slaves in Brazil and then people start mixing up and that's maybe the reason I have this African gene uh, component on my genes um, also we you know we had a massive immigration of Italians in 1930s to Brazil we had the immigration of Dutch German and even Southeast Asian people to Brazil at some stage in history now we are kind of a mixed culture mixed uh, uh, we have mixed features and that could be explained by all of that you know it's just now a laboratory test showing what we know by practice um, so that's it um, I knew I was Portuguese somehow uh, although my surname is very common it's one of the most common surnames in the country we lost 
throughout the generations a uh, few surnames few portuguese sur surnames we had drummond we had gomez we had denise and few other ones it's just the way uh, the laws are you know when people get married usually women they drop one of the surnames as, as in most countries so i just picked up the these two ones i saw i i told you uh but yeah my grandmother she used to have drummond but she got married she dropped the drummond from her name and yeah um i'm happy with what i found but i'm, I'm not expecting to find anything else because um you know the way laws are in brazil the way things are in brazil um most documents no birth certificates birth um death certificate they are in this specific office uh, it's a kind of it's not a body of the government it's kind of private same private service I, I don't really know how to explain some people say it's a mafia you have to pay to get your documents you know you have to pay to have access to something that belongs to you so we don't have uh, documents online as most countries have they just start digitalizing few of them recently but um, so it would be hard to act, to have access to documents uh, of my ancestors to see if there was someone you know definitely from europe or not but um another way to find that out is coming here on dna top left and then you go to the middle column here dna matches so dna matches is pretty much ancestry trying to cross out informations uh, information sorry around the globe uh so people who had their dna test done somewhere else might have similar uh components with mine as mine so at some stage cross by crossing that information i might i might come across some relatives around the globe uh i had here i think 42 matches i tried to contact one of them but i didn't have any answer uh but like the way it shows to me there is a, an extremely high level of confidence to have this person for example as my fourth cousin and yeah so and so forth it shows you the level of confidence for each match and all of that uh and technically all those people should have a um, family tree created but not all of them have it and few of them who have it there they have their family tree locked so you don't have access to 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 their family tree you have only to text the person wait for an answer to see if they have something in common to you and that's another way to to come across relatives around the world so have yours done uh upload your your results upload your files and let's see if if we have something in common you might be my cousin we can go out for a pint of guinness at some stage see you soon hope you enjoyed peace out